Well, good Tuesday afternoon to you. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Alright, now that that's out of the way. Tuesday afternoon. So, uh, getting ready to go to work. Doing our normal thing. Got a little coffee going on. And, uh, there we go. Got about a day's growth here. Nothing normal stuff, as we would say. Something a little bit different there. A good buddy of mine uh, over at the Shave Den, Panchango. Uh, you may recall, you may not recall. Anyway, he's the one that passed along the Parker SRX Shave to me a while back. And uh, I need to get that out and shave with it before long. So anyway, uh, he had bought some soaps and they're rose scented soaps and the rose scent did not agree with his skin so he was nice enough because everybody knows that uh, I love a rose scent soap I've, I've got several over here and uh, he was nice enough to send me some soaps. So one of the ones he sent me I haven't used before it's a uh, soap commander uh, this is the vegan edition I'm not really a vegan type but uh, you know some of the soaps are nice I don't have any problem with vegan soaps. I like tallow soaps, of course, just like everybody, but uh, it's got shea butter, 100% handcrafted, and it's a uh, vegan edition, true rose shaving soap, and it does have a nice ro uh, rose uh, uh, scent. So I was looking at the tub here, and I don't see anything else to, uh, that uh, shaving soap is free of clay and animal products. We'll see how it goes. Alrighty. So, uh, today's hardware is going to include a 1907-ish. They made these for seven years. I shoot for the middle of the of the making and call it a 1907 Ever Ready. It's got the original little short wood handle on it that's actually had some wear and tear over the years. Still works really well. I actually have a uh, JR reproduction that I could put on it. But, uh, you know... I like using the original. I haven't shined this one up because I kind of like the old patina on it. And uh, I don't know. I'm just that way. So uh, we're going to check and make sure that the uh, blade corners are down behind the stops. Because you know these old razors, sometimes you'll put a blade in and you know, hang over a little bit. That's no fun. You don't have to try it on your own. You can trust me on this one. You don't want to do that. It leaves scars. So this is a uh, either a treat blade or one of the Rite Aid blades. They all look alike, so there's no really need, no you know, way to tell. Alrighty then, we're going to use the JR-176, which has got the Omega bore in it. The Omega, I think that's a 98 bore. One of my favorite bore brushes. you can got to love a bore with a soap. And to finish everything up, we've got Family Dollar, what do they call that? Their Spice Aftershave, which is the sort of kind that smells like Old Spice type stuff that's like a dollar or so a bottle. And uh, Actually, I like this stuff. It's pretty good. So that's what we're going to do today and see how the soap commander works. I've heard really good things about it. A lot of people have a lot of good things to say about it, so we're going to give it a whirl, as they say. All righty. Get a little wipe down going here for our normal routine. That's good stuff. We're going to lather right from the right from the tub here. Nice little tub of soap. Like I said, it's got just a straight out. My mom, uh, one reason I think I like uh, rose soap so much is my mom really loved roses. And she always had some around. This smells like the, the tea roses she used to grow it the end of the camp and uh she's been gone coming up on five years now five years what next week i think actually or a week after and maybe that's one reason i like rose soap so much but whatever reason i like them uh, this is going to load nice we're just we're not blooming if you want to bloom something go plant a rose bush i like that i just came up with that right off the top of my head you know it just just happened but uh so we're going to do what we normally do we'll load it into a paste start with a kind of a dry brush the way I do all my soaps Williams and Colgate or anything even the newer stuff and we get it going and we get a brush starting to load up all right and what we'll do is we'll dip tip brush in a little bit of water if we need to we'll start it up here on the ladder yeah that's nice 
lathers nice and easy with the big old bore brush. I tell you, I like synthetics these days, and I've got some Badger brushes, and I like Badger just fine. But to me, I don't know. I waver around a little bit, but I always seem to come back to you. Just can't be a big old bore brush. I don't know. The Omega bore here, as you can see, is easy to control. I'm not slapping lather all over the place. And it holds plenty of soap. Get a little more water in this one. Does it need a lot of extra water here for the soap commander? Looks like. Feels nice and slick going on. We'll see how it does for the shade, but I think it's going to be just fine. I think it's going to be just fine. Looky there. All righty. Pause. Time out. It's not a bad cup of coffee, I'm telling you. Well, here we go with the little Ever Ready. With the little short handle. And people are always talking about short handles versus long handles versus big hands versus little hands. Yada, 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 yada. I don't know. These little short handle ladder catchers are just a dream to use. It's, it's absolutely, <coughs> excuse me, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these little short handles. Now, put it on a longer handle and it's still a good razor. Uh, you know, people holler, they get a bigger handle, heavier handle, it, it changes the shave. Well, it's a little different shave, just because it's got the longer handle. But, I don't think it's particularly a better shave or particularly a worse shave. It's just a little different shave. But, you know, I don't think I have a strong feeling on a preference between the short handle for the lather catchers and the long handle. I like them all. Alright, well, I don't know how many shades this here blade has on it, but I can tell you it's in its prime. Wow, this is such a comfortable shave, boy. I make a joke sometime, and it's not really a joke, you know, the truth about the matter. Sometimes I just plain feel sorry for folks that ain't me when I'm getting a shave like this. I'm telling you. have plenty of folks here for a second round. Still got that nice rose scent. Now I'll be the first one to tell you that scent has absolutely nothing to do with the performance of the shave. Shoke shave can, you know, a shave shoke rather, can smell terrible and still work good. But, so I don't count scent when I'm judging soaps. It's not that big a deal. There are some scents I like and I don't want the scent to hang around after the shave anyway. If I got a little scent there in the shave, it's nice. I enjoy it. I'm really enjoying this rose. But if this was an unscented soap, you'd still get this good performance out of it, I would assume. And uh, everything would still be good. And it is nice performance. It's got a good face feel. I don't worry about moisturizers and things of that nature. But... Uh, I don't have girly skin. I spent a lot of time in the sun, especially when I was younger, working on the farm and out in the yard and the garden and stuff, so I don't worry about it. But this has actually got a really nice face feel to it. Almost as good as the mayonnaise from the other day. <laughs> you saw that video. Really, the face felt good after that. Truth or not about the matter. Somebody was making a joke about it. Asking about the face feel after the shave, but the truth of the matter is, they feel pretty darn good. Good as any of the shave soaps almost. And, uh, anyway, what can you do? You, I'm gonna go this way. I don't always go this way on cross it, but I probably need to start, because that right there actually felt really nice. We're gonna use our thumb to judge where the end of our uh, sideburn is here, so we can clean up around the sideburn without, and over here we'll use this finger. 
that's a good way to clean up your sideburns so but if you keep taking a little bit off a little bit off for long your sideburns are up here I look goofy enough as it is I don't need any help it's an old barber trick he said, number one, you look straight in. You don't turn your head to do your sideburns. You look straight in and you use a finger as a guide. Of course, that same barber gave neck shades with nothing but water for lather. He wouldn't use shave, shave soap for lather on the neck shades. Oh, well. All right. Come down here and clean up this on the lip. I don't know about you, but if I don't get the bottom lip cleaned up good, it will bug me at work all night long. True story. I carry my, uh, everywhere I go, in whichever vehicle I'm in, I put a, uh, a duffel bag that has a couple of changes of clothes, and it's got, uh, you know, towels, bath rags, it's got my travel shave kit in it. And, uh, you know, everything I might need if I all of a sudden get stuck somewhere at some time. It's an old habit of mine. I've had it for years. So I always have my travel set up. I got to work here a while back. I don't remember which razor I'd used. And uh, I'd blasted through a shave and half asleep probably. And I got to work and got to noticing right, right on the corner, both corners there, I didn't get good cleaned up. So out to the old expedition, I went and grabbed out my shaving kit and I went in and it cleaned up that hair that I'd missed. I couldn't stand it. It was, it was going to be a long night if I didn't do that. Long, long, long night. Uh, somebody calling. I'll have to wait just a minute. My cub calling. All right. So let's get the little of the uh, witch hazel going here. And we'll get cleaned up and we'll be finished with it. But that was a very... I, I like the soap. I, I really do. It's got a nice scent to it. It's got a nice feel. It lathered easy. It's slick. You know, I'm not all about having mounds and mounds and mounds of uh, lather. I'm just, I'm, uh, I'm not all into that. As long as it's a nice slick layer, I am good with it. All right, a little touch up under here, a little touch up under here. Make sure we got that corner and we are in good shape. 1907 ever ready. These old ladder catchers are just awesome. I mean, you talk about them. They're more fun than a big old bucket of rubber toed frogs. And I should know because I've got a bucket full of rubber toed frogs. Well, that's an old slice mug, but still. Some of you may have seen it over the years. All right, I get a little wipe down there, a little dry off here. So y'all have a good afternoon. I'm going to. Good afternoon starts with a good shave, right? Boy, that is nice and smooth down on my neck. Oh, man, that is nice, let me tell you. Kind of feel sorry for anybody that ain't fuzzy. All right, we'll put a little bit of this here. Family Dollar smells like Old Spice. Oh, yeah. Nice. And that's going to do it. So y'all have happy shades. Have a good day and go out and do the things you like to do. It's getting to be summertime down south here. which means it's warming up. Skeeters are coming back out. But that's all right. I got a thermal cell that takes care of them while I'm at work and out fishing and stuff. So look, y'all have a good day. We'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by for Shaving with Fuzzy. Happy shades.